just kidding. This is my last video, but oh, I just I have not. to give you guys these little tools to have in your tool belt for when people try to question you about why you refuse to get it, okay? Okay. Number one, the mRNA that they're using in it is completely synthetic. That is true. This is the first time they've ever done that in human history. Oh, that's not true. Number two, because it is completely synthetic, normally your body would immediately attack it and eradicate it. Oh, your body doesn't care if it's synthetic system. or not. It just wants to destroy so foreign things. they had to coat that mRNA in a nanolipid. That is true. The purpose of that nanolipid is to keep your DNA from degenerating. Oh, that's that not RNA, the job of the DNA. Enzymes meaning do the vaccine that. would be completely useless. However, they have no idea how long it's going to take your body to be able to break down that mRNA. Uh, less than two weeks. Number three, because they don't know how long it's going to take that mRNA to break down, less that than two weeks. that your DNA is going to be creating antibodies. Oh, no, B cells do that, not DNA. Indefinitely. So because that mRNA is just going to be lingering around in your system, that's called free RNA. Oh, no, your body's going to totally destroy that RNA right away. In your body, and your body hasn't been able to degenerate. Yeah, it can do that. That is going to cause your body to send danger signals to your brain. No, that's not true. Those danger signals are going to create inflammation. That's not how inflammation that works. Inflammation will continue to increase until the mRNA is eradicated. No, it's However, about the spike protein, point, the virus. The mRNA will have duplicated and replicated so much that every cell in your body will be will be creating the antibodies. Oh no, just B cells can do that, Number not every five. cell. mRNA is not altering your DNA. That's it's true. Altering the way that your DNA expresses itself. That's not true. It's a messenger RNA, which that's means true. it's telling your DNA what to do, basically. Oh, that's not true. Once the nanolipid makes it to well, your where brain, do we go? your DNA begins to express something called like cytotech or like cytosine. I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it's the gene for multiple Oh, no, I know cells, it's not that. Which means you're going to start having inflammation in your brain and inflammation in your spine. Oh, no, that's not true. your brain to no longer be able to communicate with your body. What? Hence why people have been having so many neurological issues after having the vaccine. Oh, there's no evidence this for that. This is also why they have to give you more than one dose. That's not why. They give you a smaller dose the first time. No, they're the same it size. It introduces your body to those nanolipids. That's so not what we're introduced to. Dose, it's a larger dose. It isn't. But your body is a lot less likely to have a negative reaction because it's already been introduced. Oh, that's not true. That's not why However, that works at all. a lot of people are still having negative effects after the second vaccine. That doesn't make any sense. There's something about this vaccine. It's something like vaccines aren't supposed to go into your brain. You're right. I don't know if it's the synthetic mRNA nope. or the nanolipid, but nope, because it doesn't get to the brain is making its way into our brains. No. So that's why we're having so many neurological reactions. Again, no evidence. Unfortunately, it also has a way of making its way into our reproductive system. Okay, there's no evidence for that either. Negatively affected there as well as a society. I am unvaccinated. I'm sorry.